just September, this, this month, India came out and said that they're using a vaccine that's almost identical to the one we used. A DNA right? vaccine. Right? DNA vaccine. And that's just like, what the fuck? You know, like what took so long, right? This paper came out one and a half years ago. So that raises a bunch of a bunch of questions. Number one, theoretically, the there could have been a vaccine that came out earlier than the ones yeah. that we got, right? Maybe even more cheaply they could have oh, been made. Oh yeah, way, way, way more cheaply. Right. right. Um, less problematically, right? If it's uh, if it's more stable than an mRNA vaccine, but you not necessarily disparaging those, but that's. Yeah. that's uh, an idea right totally so. no i think that's why india went with it right because it's i mean in these situations and they're complicated and complex and stuff like that but i think india realized that um the logistics are just as hard as making the vaccine so it's not just like getting it but it's also distributing it and you have to worry about things like shelf life and all these other things and how do you get the freezers if you're going to use mrna vaccine and the really fucked up things is like all the patents like <sighs> countries like the u.s won't release the patents to allow countries like india to make the vaccines they right. won't yeah that's and the technology gonna... they won't make the technology available to countries like how fucked up is yeah. that isn't that that that's why i'm not a conspiracy theorist at all i'm pro vaccine i'm very I'm much a square when it comes to this stuff but it's also like i don't un, i don't blame people for not believing the official government narrative when we see that the government in the united the u.s government is not doing everything it could to help eradicate this like why isn't it making it easier for poorer countries to get the vaccine what why especially if it's a contagious disease right i know it's so disturbing so it, it it's money so can you talk about how that works because Matt yeah, and I, have I mean a plan it's these to, drone companies that are companies. making billions of dollars that push you know for the government to not make it available and it's just like oh, right the the mrna production technology or even the facilities to do it it's that's what's really holding those vaccines being distributed back and has led to india deciding and choosing i imagine to use dna vaccine because it's really easy to produce there's really no patents on the production and purification of it and stuff like that it's super shelf stable so you know in in countries that might not have an extremely distributed medical system and all these freezers and stuff like that it means that like they can get it to the population really wide and really quick but yeah I, you know like you don't need to be a conspiracy theorist i think for a lot of these things because it's like literally you just say the things that are happening yeah, and, and you're labeled it, that yeah it, well no what i mean it's just scary you know it's just like why aren't we making this? Why did all the world's governments try to make their own vaccine instead of everybody coming together and saying, hey, let's all come together, produce as much, test this as fast as we can, produce as much of it as we can, as fast as we can and get it to everybody. It's because money, right? Because even countries like Russia and China, they're licensing their vaccine technology. So like other countries are paying each other for the vaccine technology and license and patents. And it's just like gross, it's super gross. Hello, thank you so much for listening to and watching Useful Idiots. For full episodes and extended interviews, please subscribe at usefulidiots.substack.com. You can subscribe on YouTube at youtube.com slash usefulidiots for clips, live streams, and full episodes. Also subscribe to us wherever you find your podcast. Follow us on Twitter at usefulidiotpod and use the hashtag usefulidiotspod. Join us Mondays at 10 a.m. for the Useful Idiots Monday morning show where we discuss the Sunday morning news shows so you don't have to watch them.